Hey there, it's my fourth year doing Extra Life. Once again, I'm playing for Johns Hopkins. It's time for Every Plays Grim Fandango Remastered, Episode 1. Hey there, never played um, Grim Fandango before, so I figured it was a good time as any to give it a, uh, give it a try. Alright, let's check it out. Let me just make sure my audio is working. Okay, cool. Here we go. Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? <laughs> take me where? Nice. Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't <laughs> want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Hmm. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top-of-the-line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? <laughs> hmm. Well... The bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm-hmm. Yeah ha! Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass and the handle will sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. <laughs> oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks, you dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny, the boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. <laughs> he was can't on work lips. off my time and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Hmm. What is this? This is my cue to start playing. Before I do that, let me just adjust the volume a little lower for the game. What is that? A little higher for me. This is me. <laughs> That's creepy. Oops. This end cabin is where I hang my cloak. Wait, how do you play this? Like, what's the point of the game? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I'm a travel agent for the dead. So you dead? Yep. See, I'm a skeleton. I don't know. My computer gives me instant access to our database of deadbeats. Can you 
Can you get out of your, um, Hold on. Can you get out of your office? I need to see what this thing is first, somehow. Maybe here we go. It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases. So all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. Whatever you say, Hefe. Hefe, that means boss. Let's save. Who's <laughs> <coughs> 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 that? That's doctor. That's the secretary. Buenos dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? What poisoning? The code three gazpacho <laughs> poisoning that everybody's at but you. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? Okay, okay, okay. Read quietly, because the game's also saying the words, okay? Let's see. Any messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I don't <laughs> take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. All right. But that sounded more like four messages <coughs> to me. <laughs> In my heart, though, you're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, even when you were on top. I got one boss, same as you, Don Copel. <coughs> so I guess he used to be awesome, but now he's not. Come on, I know you work for another man besides Don. What? Well, what are you talking about? I know you take memos for Hurley sometimes. Ah, oh, Manny, just beat it, will ya? Why does he keep saying... Where is everybody? Oh, Manny, did you forget what day it is today? Oh, man, did I come in on Saturday again? It's the Day of the Dead. Oh, Everybody's it's the Day of the Dead. back in the land of the living, visiting like their families like we should be. Why aren't you visiting your family today? Ah, the boss is here, so I gotta be here. How about you, Cal? No one back there I want to see. And you don't want Domino here alone, getting all the good leads. Domino's here? He's at the poisoning right now, stealing your commission. Where was the poisoning again? Just ask your driver for crying out loud. He'll know. <laughs> well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Okay, you show those bricks a lesson. <laughs> Yeah, she does. Good catch. <laughs> I'm sad I never played this when it came out. It came out when I was a kid, but I never played it. Whoa, cool. Why, Daddy? I I don't know. Hmm. How do I what? I left my tow truck back in my other suit. <laughs> we can't operate cars. That's how they keep us from skipping town. Oh, I sold so many car travel packages when I was first starting out. When did I lose my edge? Wasn't this my driver? Who's my driver then? How do I do this? Hmm. Maybe I go this way. I don't know. Whoa. <laughs> Look at that giant pinata. That's a huge pinata. That is a big pinata. I guess I could do it that way. Oh. Clown. Who's that? Let's see. It's a clown. Making balloon animals or something. Hey, what's going down, clown? Hey, back off, suit. I'm practicing. 
Practicing what? Ring in your neck. What does it look like? <laughs> <laughs> Twist me up one of them, huh, fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist this, all right? Huh? Can I walk through your tent? I want to see the parade. Well, walk through someone else's tent, all right? Do I look like a turnstile to you? <laughs> Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead. Name one. Uh, Robert Frost. That's the famous Robert poet. Robert Frost. Trying to stump me, eh? Whoa. Ta-da! Whoa, that's really good. Who's that Robert Frost? He's, uh... Uh, I'm gonna put it away. Okay. Let's see. What can I do? Those crates are completely blocking the sidewalk. What if there were a fire? Oh no. They're just full of party favors. And I'm not in the party mood. <coughs> I don't need the hernia. Alright, let's see. Doesn't look like I can do anything. Let's leave here. Go back there. Mm <laughs> hmm. Birds up here. Hmm. Petrified forest. What is petrified forest? That's a forest with dead trees, or fro um, preserved trees. The petrified forest Rubacava. Not really that far away, but to me they might as well be on the other side of the world. I'm not walking on the freeway. I shouldn't even be standing here. <laughs> oh, I'm back over here. I don't know. That was always the tricky thing with these type of games. You never know for sure where to go or what to do. Kind of have to figure it out. No, it's not a bad game. It's fun. Oh, I thought I was going to fall in there. Oh, I guess I could go down there? No, no, that's probably to leave. It's huge. I can't open it. <laughs> huh. There's a wall right here. Mm-hmm. Huh. It looks like a rope, but it's really just a bunch of cheap ties tied together. Uh. Whoa. Can you die? I don't know. I'm already a skeleton. I guess I have to go in here. Whoa. Someone else's office. It looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. Oh, I think this is his boss. If you buzz me again, I swear I'll jump out this window. I'll just change his auto response here. I'm on the phone! Huh. Not picking that up. Memo from the desk of Don Copal. Hey! Work <coughs> orders are assigned by my office and are not exchangeable among salesmen. Swapping, selling, and especially stealing work orders will result in severe disciplinary action. I think I'm gonna steal this work order. Let's see, do something over here. This place is a mess. I would love to search Don's office right now, but I'm late for the poisoning. No time to ransack. Everybody's at the poisoning but me. Don't need it. I would love to search Don's office right now, but I'm late for the poisoning. 
I would love to search Don's office all right, right all right, now, I but get I'm it, late I get for the it, poisoning. So I get out of here. Guess I gotta go back out the window. Oh, there we go. Let's go this way. There's a dead bird. Looks like the boss has gone fishing. No use for it. Not picking that up. You can't pick it up. I couldn't you go through the... Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. There's nobody in Domino's office. Domino locks his window. Fear of pigeons, probably. Ah, uh -huh. there's nobody in Domino's office. Looks like the boss has gone fishing. Looks like the boss has gone fishing. <coughs> I feel like I'm supposed to get up here somewhere. I feel like you have to build something there. Maybe. <laughs> my scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. I don't know. It's some sort of special work order. That's what I thought. Oh, yeah, maybe. Let me try that again. I don't want to mess up my blade. That's what I thought, but I couldn't get in there. Alright, I don't think I'm supposed to be here right now. <coughs> it's like, it's like impossible. Get out of here. I told you to get out of here. Can I see what this? Not picking that up. Maybe I have to go in here. Nope. You could go in there, I think. It sounds different when I walk on it. But... Hmm. Like, maybe you should try to get through the tent. And then maybe... Sold so many car travel packages when I was first starting out. 
to all agents. All right, we have them. Too many. So let's see some. Whatever you say, Hiffy. I shouldn't even be standing here. I'm yeah. not walking on the freeway. I shouldn't even be standing here. I have no here. idea what I should be doing. I hate this game. Is it going right there? Maybe I have to go back in the office. Oh, maybe I need to go this way. Instead of going straight out. <laughs> That's right back to the secretary. That's what you think. Let's Oops. Daddy. Go in that door. Go in that door. Daddy. <laughs> go in that door. Where <laughs> <laughs> can you do it? There we go. Uh, it's locked. Locked. Ah, the old head of the department. Way before my time, I heard he was a total slave driver. Mm. How's it hanging? Mm. Yeah, right. Oh, I went through the wrong elevators, maybe. There we go. Where are you going over there? I just want to see what that's, that is. Land of the Living. There are lights for wash, rinse, wax, and land of the living, depending on your destination. The driver demons operate this somehow, and the company won't tell a salesman how it works. Gotta keep us down somehow. Go, go to the land of the living. I don't think I'm supposed to go in there. Let's see what happens. Through there lies the Limbo Highway, and on the <coughs> other side of that, the land of the living. Can't go through on foot. People have tried, but they never came back. So gotta find the driver first. That's where I'm going. Now nah, I'll try going out this way. Oh no! Oh, here we go. It's here. Oh, put your car. Here's what I need. Wheels. That's right. I need wheels. Ooh, I might get hurt if I try to get one down by myself. Ooh, I might get hurt if I try to get one down by myself. Ooh, I might get hurt yeah. if I try to get one down by myself. Maybe I need to come over here. Maybe there's someone inside this room. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks like the boys' room.
Hey, service. Hey, who the? Whoa. Oh. Oh, sorry, sir. I didn't expect the sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey, I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, <laughs> your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. What? Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? How am I supposed to get to the poisoning? <laughs> Gladys. Gladys. Is that a German name? Oh, no. My roots lie not in any earthly nation's soil. I am an elemental spirit summoned up from the land of the dead itself and given one purpose, one skill, one desire to drive or to change oil and adjust timing belts if no driving jobs are open. <coughs> Sounds like I found the person I need. Looks like I need a new driver. Oh, I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Hmm. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh, no. Sorry. Can't. Rules. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm... I'm... I'm too <coughs> big. Aww. Wait, wait. You're not too big. The cars are just too small. <laughs> yeah, those dang compact wait, cars. Wait, hey, that gives okay. me an idea. I, I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I'll... But I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could <coughs> lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have one of those. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Okay, now I need to go back to his office. That's my line. Getting people to sign back in a snap. Okay, that's yeah, cool. too small. I'm I went there too, too, too early. I need Everything to go there now. here is just too small. Oh my gosh. What is that? All right, time to get back to. I've got to get this work order signed. Yeah, the boss is. Uh... These games, you have to do them in the right order. That's just how it works. You can't do stuff before you know about stuff. Okay, I think I know what happened. So you take a blank piece of paper. Yep. And then you write on it. Yep. Tend to the boss. Mm hmm And then he goes out and drives it. Mm hmm That's probably what it's going to be. Or you just find this paper. Like, oh, yeah, <coughs> he has to write it back. It's locked. It's locked. Oh, man, I got to go the long way around. You have the hiccups? No. That won't help it get signed. Let's see if she, maybe she knows. <coughs> if I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, I've got Manny Calavera out here to see you. I'm on the phone! Eh, sorry, Cal. Oh, I know what Tomorrow. to do. That's right. too late. Oh, yeah, like you're going anywhere. Okay, I have to go change his computer to say sign it. But how do you do that? Because before I was able to change stuff on his computer, but I didn't know what it was for, because um, I hadn't been to this part yet, so now I know. <laughs> Back over there. Why did it say? Because <coughs> that's what his computer says. I don't know. Maybe. 
<coughs> oh yeah, because it's Day of the Dead. You're right. Smart. Alright, now I can climb up this thing. Why does it make a noise when you go on top of that? I bet later that opens up. Later in another part of the game. Like, like you have to go up. Like you have to get parked to the car or something. Something. We'll see. I think it's <coughs> like parked to the car or something. What's his name? Manny Calavera. No, it's a normal name. That's a crazy name. No, oh, it's a normal name. It sounds like Manny. <laughs> How do you change it? Watch. Look for something that says to sign it, okay? <laughs> Where? Oh. Alright, let's see. Here you go. Ah, right, Zaver, just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy. There we go. Now I just gotta get back. Told you I saw it. Good job. Good eye. Her name's Ava. My friend's name Ava. Oh, what's he doing? Oh. No, don't. <laughs> he missed. That was gonna work, right? Maybe another time. Maybe that the ladder is like later and like make the slot like to open up there. Yeah, I'll probably need it later. So it's a good thing to remember for later. Boss's, boss's, uh, <coughs> office. And then, uh, what's up, like, the, um, the thing that you step on, and then, oh. what's it called? Um, uh, I'm not sure. Alright, now. If I use your hole punch, knock yourself out. <laughs> Thanks. Gets the aggressions out, doesn't it? Could I take your hole punch? Ha! <laughs> I doubt you could take my half punch. <laughs> That's funny. If I really need the boss to sign this work order, I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, Christ, Ava, just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy! You'll have to excuse him, Manny. It's probably a really hard crosswood puzzle he's got in there today. <laughs> Eva, I'm impressed. I had no idea you had this kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets. Oh. Huh. That's me. That's my work clothes. <laughs> hey, I look good in this, don't I? <laughs> yeah, well, they say black is slimming. I'm driving, yeah! I'm driving! <laughs> oh, favor. I could have walked faster than this. Uh, híjole, I'm gonna miss the poisoning.
He has to get to the poison. What? What's a poison? Whoa. Daddy, what's a poisoning? Well, people got poisoned somewhere. <coughs> Dom. The living still give me the creeps. Why did it say the living still give me the creeps? I don't know. Why do you have work? Why is that your work? What's that? Bound only by the paper thin wrapper of mortality, a soul here lies, struggling <coughs> to be free. And so it shall, thanks <coughs> to a bowl of bad gazpacho and a man named Calavera. Open it. Try to open it. I can't use my bare hands. I'm a professional. Mm. Oh no, if you like. But can I see you, Daddy? I don't know. I think that's a poison guy. Nice bathroom. Mm. For several travel package upgrades, if you'd care to cut the yeah, I want something cheap where I could get some rest. Now that's it. Aye, aye, aye. You know, Manny, I could make this car a little faster if you wanted. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah, slam the front into the weeds, tub the rear end, do blowers, pop it out of the hood. <laughs> You'll get plenty of rest this way, Mr. Martinez, and you'll be safely padded by the foam created when these two chemicals mix like this. Oh, on second thought, I want to upgrade my package. Sorry, Bruno, but you didn't qualify for anything better. But what here, you doing, Daddy? have this complimentary. <laughs> no, wait! Uh, can't you find me something where I can move my legs? Daddy, what is he doing? You know I'd like He's to, Bruno, <laughs> but my boss is a real hard ass. I gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. I got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sales, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients <coughs> you're sending me? Hey! Now you're blaming the clients? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out! Out on the street, no job, no way to work off your time. Just your fancy suit and your big smile and a whole lot of time to kill. It's a premium person. Who you calling a scumbag? Why well, I ought to. <laughs> 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 I'm sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick. <coughs> it's time to take one. What is he doing? I don't know. Let's see. Hey, you missed a great poisoning. Yeah, and you missed a great client. Domino came back from there with a nun. Híjole, I got a tiny little man with a mean temper and no commission. Well, at least you don't work for one. Huh. <laughs> I can't find my driver. <coughs> Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? No, but I like to hear your description of it, just for kicks. Well, the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here, having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. Mm hmm. What if we just skip town tonight? <coughs> you and me, baby. Well, thanks for the offer, but we'd never make it out of the city alive. But... In one piece, I mean. I bet I could get you out if I really tried. Oh, Manny, look at you. You're a trapped soul and you don't even know it. Uh. Why do some clients qualify for better travel packages? They led good lives. Good tries. How do you define a good life? Better than yours and mine. <coughs> Well, enough about me. What's your job like? <coughs> like babysitting. Except I don't get to watch TV. <laughs> so what did you do in life to get stuck here? What I did back in the fat days is none of your business. You know the rules. <laughs> I like the fat days. What's a fat days? 
Just when one she had, more question when she was alive. My job. Manny, you know what to do. Stop playing dumb just to flirt with me. So, you going to the Christmas party? Uh, After the spectacle you made of yourself last year? Because they were fatter with, with skin and stuff. Any good gossip? Well, I heard Domino got a raise. Por favor, tell me some good news, why don't you? I still love you. You're all I really need, Bayesa. Mm -hmm. Alright. You know, Copal's not really in his office. Sweetheart, I know what you're up to. Huh? You're trying to get me away from my desk so you can link all my paper clips together again. <laughs> oh, uh, darling. <laughs> well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Oh, let's see. This is the other guy. Domino. I thought it was Domingo. <laughs> that would be Saturday. Well, <laughs> oh, Sunday. Well, at least you're not hitting the bottle anymore. Hey, Kelly, how you doing? So, how'd you make out of the poisoning? Well, let's just say that Sister Calabaza has a secret passion. For trains. You got a <laughs> Hail Mary. And you sold her a ticket on the number nine train. Choo choo, little buddy. <laughs> Say, how'd you score? <coughs> I got two nuns, actually. Hey, that reminds me of this really funny joke. Heard it. I want to ask you a question. Shoot, slugger. <laughs> Why do you get all the good clients? You're asking the wrong guy. You should be taking a good long look at the man in the mirror. No, thanks. I don't enjoy that the same way you do. Can I have one of your clients? Sure, huh. Cal. Just as soon as I get one I think you could handle. I can handle anything you got, especially if that's your best right jab. Huh. No, 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 please. What no. did you do to get this job? You mean what's my secret to success? No, I mean how did you screw up and get stuck here at the DOD? What sin did you commit and how long are you going to have to work here to pay it off? Well, I could easily ask the same question of you, but I don't know the answer. I still don't know what I've done. <coughs> well, how convenient. Then, uh, neither do I. Huh? <coughs> Is it hard to kiss up to the boss so much when you got no lips? <laughs> hey, I got all the lip I need. I get it from you. <laughs> <laughs> I want to tell you something. Good. Go on and let it all out, Manny. There's no reason for you to be afraid of me. You know, this used to be my office. Yeah, I know. I found your name on some comic books in the desk. I want my office back. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll have years and years to enjoy it after I get promoted out <laughs> and get you're still here. <laughs> I think we should team up, be partners. Oh, Manny, I, I would, but I'm too intimidated. <laughs> I'd never be partners with someone who was so much more of a man than me. Oh, come on. I've seen your wife. I've seen your wife. Hmm. I think you're up to something. Yeah, I'm up to about four <laughs> premium sales this week. <laughs> well, see you in limbo. Oh, that's great. We should do this more often. <laughs> What's down there? I don't know. Let's see if there's anything new in my office. My computer gives me instant access to our database of deadbeats. I should close Bruno's record before the black marks burn into my screen. I should close Bruno's record. <coughs> I don't know. All right, let's see. Check your lockers. Nothing in there but my cloak. Eh, I'm gonna let it air out some more. Alright. I'm gonna maybe try going to the boss's office, office again. Yeah. Maybe you should see if many like before he said he didn't want to look through stuff in there because he had to hurry to the poisoning, but maybe now. Wait, <coughs> did, was he done? Is he done the poisoning? Mm hmm. That's where the little guy was that he had to seal up in the coffin. Mm-hmm. 
He ate poison soup. Oh my gosh. You and your fancy suits and your nose holes way up in the air, sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that? Huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? Huh? You think you're better than me? No. Good. Huh. Who was that? That's creepy. I don't know, but I wonder. That me oh maybe I could <coughs> mess with the tubes to get better stuff. What's that? One of the chemicals for our packing material comes out of there. One of the chemicals for our packing material comes out of there. Ugh, that smell. Uh. For those who enjoy no hassle travel. Bruno, you and one of these must have picked them up already. I don't need the hernia. Let's see. Okay, now maybe I go up to the top. Let's see. I could try the boss's office first and I could try going up to the top. Oh, that's how the boss gets out without people knowing that he's not in the office. Oh, now the window's closed. Which tells me that means I'm supposed to do this part now up here. It's locked. Watch. I'm gonna go over here and see him in there or something. Oh, it's closed. The drapes are drawn. Don must be in there napping. So now it's time to climb to the top. Oh, maybe I need to use my balloons. I did know. Okay. Let's see. Maybe. I think you should get like a cat. Yeah, I think you have a good idea. Let's try that. Get as many as balloons as you can and then try them all. I think that's what the crown is for. You need to figure out like what balloon you need to use. I I think that's a good idea. Let's see if you're right. Another balloon animal. Ah, oh, jeez. What now? What type of dog? Let's see. Did work. Did work. Heck, that's okay. easy. There's no limit on those. That's not what balloons are for. That's not what balloons are for. 
don't got the lungs for it. You teach me how to do that? Well, uh, since you're a beginner, why don't you practice the first step? Which is? Blow! <laughs> Bang! Ah, pop another one. <laughs> Lousy, bony fingers! Alright, let's see. I have to go. That sound makes me want to kill somebody. You too? Huh. That's not what balloons are for. Huh. Let's see. Well, uh, all right. So it was, I think it was good for him to give me a deflated balloon, but I'm not sure. I'm going to try it over there again, see what happens. Dad, <coughs> I think you know, you need, he needs to teach you, so you have to blow. Mm -hmm. That's why it's good. Because he gave you like a deflated balloon. Oops. Ended up over here. Nope. All right, let's try over here again and see what happens. You don't even have a kid. Trying, yeah. I'm trying to think what else, how else I could get this thing inflated. Also try using the balloon with the stuff that I put into the into the uh, casket. See if that helps. <coughs> <coughs> the one where Bruno was. All right, let's see. Like that. Like that. It's a deflated balloon. That's not what balloons are for. <laughs> That's not what balloons are for. All right. So much for that. Somehow we got to get that up there. Let's see. What else do I have? I could try my... No, I don't think he's going to want to do it. I think I tried this already. I don't want to mess up my blade. Yeah. Um, hmm. All right. I'm going to try what I said before. Let's try to... Inflate it with that stuff. See what happens. What stuff? You'll see. What do you have in your office? Like all the blue, all the different shapes and stuff. We'll see. Life site is working yet. Let's check on my phone. Okay, just go. It's fine. All right, let's check the extra life site, see if it's back up. Still not working. All right, let's see here. <clears throat> okay. This balloon is filled with a light chemical.
Oh, hey, it actually loaded up. Look at that. Yep. The stuff that it went shh, came out. All right, let's go over here. So let's see if that means. This can start running again. Let's see here. Oh, the API is still broken. Hmm? You'll see it now when I take it out. <coughs> it looks like a regular balloon. Does it look like a regular balloon? Yep, but long. Super, like, like. Mm hmm. Try the other animals. Try getting one of everything. Tunnel syndrome's really acting up. But you don't have any tendons. Yeah, well, you don't have a tongue. But that doesn't seem to <laughs> shut you up now, does it? My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. jeez. Uh, what now? Okay. A cat. <laughs> no problem. <coughs> Ta-da! <coughs> I have a lot of balloons. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez. What now? A dingo? That's my specialty. Whoa. Ta-da! My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez. What now? Do you have any more dead worms back there? Well, sure. Huh. All right. What is he doing? Mm -hmm. He's fiddling with a balloon. It's a squeaky little kitty. Oh, wait, it's just a regular old balloon dog. I don't see what's so dingo about it. I don't see what's so dingo. It's a deflated balloon. balloon. Alright, let's try and inflate it again. Maybe I need more than one. In a time together or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a room full of balloon animals at this rate. Uh, <laughs> That's right, Megan. Yeah, I think. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm gonna see. Let's see what happens after I play this one. Thanks for the idea, Megan. What is that? Alright, let's 
dig out the other worm. Alright, so now I've got two of these. Hoping I can get him to put one on the other, but wait, what 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 do you want to use that? I don't know. I'm kinda of stuck now. I'm not sure what I should do now. Use them all, like try them all. I feel like that's what gets me. Oh, maybe the dingo will work. Yeah, maybe. I just wish this guy would walk a little bit faster. Yeah, when you have to keep going back and forth. Daddy, daddy. I think um when he said dingo is my specialty, he made it extra special. Maybe. We'll see. Now I'll try going to the garage, see if there's something I can do there. I think it's like um, scary dance. Scary dance. He's not dancing. They're not dancing. No. All right. Let's see. Think it's gonna do anything different. Oh, maybe I try the cat on the pigeons? Let's see. see me and call the staff shrink to come and talk me down. Who's Don? It's his boss. Alright. I guess let's go see the mechanic? Guy who is his driver. What's his name? I don't know. <clears throat> or something. Dodgy or something. Gotti. Who's Gotti? His driver. <laughs> I feel like this. You should press that button. Oh. Hello. Hello. <laughs> He's like hello. I don't like the way that eye is looking at me. Not picking that, not up. picking that up. He's not picking it up. <laughs> I don't know, but I thought maybe that would work for the eye. <laughs> that would have been funny. guy came from here that was upset. Ah, there we go. Oh no, wait. That's the same place where the I inflated the balloons. It just switched the angle. Alright.
Let's see, maybe he likes cats or something. Said men. He lives in the bathroom. <coughs> just like moaning the myrtle. Moaning a myrtle, just like her. Yep. Except he's a girl. The sign up there. It's locked. This sign says, I'm at the junkyard. It's a tool cabinet. It's a tool cabinet. Locked. locked. Not picking that up. I can't pick anything up. It's locked. It's locked. Why is everything locked? It's a tool cabinet. It's a tool cabinet. What do we do now? I don't know. I'm gonna try showing balloon animals to uh, to Dom, I guess. Where is he? <coughs> Let's see. I don't even know why they even stole Dom. Maybe you saw it. Maybe he's like, yeah, I need to help you. This is like the awesomest thing. I see. I'd have more work to do if you had more clients. Ouch. Manny, if you don't mind, I've got a lot of filing here to do. Right. I do watch you. What is that horrible big Mr. Boss man doesn't want to be disturbed today? New shoes. Manny, yeah. if you... Right. I do watch you. Just what the squeaking was. It's the balloons, but I told you it was my shoes. Hey, Hurl. Hey, Hurl. Yeah. His name's Hurl. I just wanted to stop by and touch base. See ya. Oh, that's great. We should do this more often. I don't really want to do that. <laughs> yeah, he's like, get it, get it, get it, do the dingo, I feel like he likes dogs. Some premium looking scotch. Have some, Manny. Just so you don't forget what premium tastes like. What's premium? That means that means really good quality. Your screensaver password. Get away from my computer, Manny. Hey, Dom. Get away. Not portable. 
portable. All right, I'll try going back to my office. I don't know. <coughs> the ladder is what we need to do. This end cabin is where I hang my cloak. I feel like it's a deck of cards. Deck of cards, right? Like, you Better take these cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. That means he's gonna be by himself. A deck of cars just deck wouldn't help there. Just there. My boss is always giving me these motivational sales books. They bought the farm, now sell them the cows. Stuff like that. <laughs> I like that title. <laughs> Read them already. Didn't help. help. Read them already. Didn't help. Well, I have a deck of cards now. What do you even do with the deck of cards? I don't know. What do you even have? Computer? My computer gives me instant access to our database of deadbeats. I should close. You should close Bruno's what? Record. Alright. Um, I guess I can try playing cards with somebody. <clears throat> Nothing in there but my cloak. Eh, I'm gonna let it air out some more. Why does he shake his head, Daddy? I don't know. Play cards. Are you using your skull to be slots and do you want to play cards or something? This deck of cards is a little frayed around the edges. Then again, so am I. And I've got fewer suits. Mm. The deck of cards just wouldn't help there. Maybe you should play cards with Ada and then take her out on a date. Maybe. Maybe you have to take her out on a date. Thanks, but I got solitaire on the computer, Manny. Uh -huh. What does that mean again? That means she could play the cards game on a computer. A deck of cards just wouldn't help there. If this guy's still not here, I could try playing cards with the clown. What clown is that? I'm an old lady. Is that old Indian After the clown, I'm gonna take a break. Maybe you should go down. I wish you could like go down the road or something. <coughs> Have you only been playing this for like an hour? Mm-hmm. <laughs>
blocked off. Wouldn't help there. Right, maybe he'll show me how to do something with this balloon now that I've blown it up. I don't really want to do that. I don't really want to do that. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Pie. Bet you can't. Hey, did you lose the one I gave you? No. Well, then just enjoy it for a while longer, all right? So there's something special about that one, because you'll only make me one you of those. More dead well. All right. Save. I think it's hard for him to make. All right. I think we're going to take a little break. Um... Have some dinner, come back later. Thanks for watching, Meglin. Thanks for watching anybody else who's watching now, anyone who watches in the future. Um, donations are good through the end of the year, so um, since the Extra Life page is kind of broken today, don't worry about it. You can always donate um, another day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.